Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and today's video is on compact knives. So, let's check out a bunch of compact knives. Some great compact knives, by the way. This is the Spyderco Techno 2, and it's been out for quite some time. It, it is kind of expensive, especially for kind of what you're getting, but it's in Spyderco CTSXHP, which they do a phenomenal job with. This is one of my favorite finishes on any blade, is like this mirrored stone wash. It looks so good. Titanium frame lock. This is made in Taiwan, and it is glassy, glassy smooth. Like it's so, so smooth fantastic thumb flicking action. The reverse flick is good too, but you know, it's a little tight, but if you're a lefty, man, this would be right up your alley and the clip is reversible. So very, very fidgety in the left hand, but yeah, it's just a nice compact little beast and I absolutely love it. What a cool knife. And man, I love Spyderco CTS XHP. Speaking about Spyderco's, well, continue on with one more. This is the Spyderco Little Native. And you know what, just to bring up one more really quick, we got the, the Spyderco Dragonfly. The Dragonfly is an FRN and it is very, very lightweight. This is a great knife if you're looking for something super compact and small in a super steel. Now there is other versions and other steels, but I highly recommend this one if you're gonna get it in K390. This is an absolute super steel. Spyderco does a phenomenal job with their steels. So this is a knife that's gonna stay sharp for a super long time. And since it's so small and compact, the types of things you're gonna be using it for, or, you know, it, it should hold on to an edge for a very long time unless you start getting stupid with it. But the little native is in S30V, a little bit bigger, a little bit more hand filling and is in G10 with a compression lock instead of the back lock. It is riding on washers, so uh, very, very smooth. Right out of the box, this one was very smooth. But yeah, it, it, even though it's such a compact knife, even with the Dragonfly, I can technically get a full four finger grip because they got this forward choil. So awesome, awesome knife. And basically these are utility cutting beasts. You know, they're compact, you can palm them, you can cut around things, you know, awesome, awesome knife. Next, the Mini Sheepdog. Now there are so many different ops for the Mini Sheepdog. This one has a removable flipper tab. So the flipper tab does get removed right there, but you can also leave it on. And then it's a great flipping and reverse flicking knife. Now there's big versions of this, even XL versions, but this is the Mini. So we're not talking about the big ones right now. We're just talking about the Mini. And here is a titanium frame lock version. They come in all different steels. Here's a button lock version. So many options when it comes to the Sheepdog. And so many sizes, so many colors, so many different steel options. There's basically unlimited. This one right here is in 154CM. This one right here is in 154CM, but I think I swapped the blade on this one. I think this one was originally M390. This one is 4V. And this one is S35VN, but basically this is, it's a little cleaver blade, right? If you don't have the flipper, by the way, you can get a nice full four finger grip. But when you have the flipper tab, it is more of a three and a half finger knife. Great pinch grip knife. This is a knife you can easily use like a little box cutter. It is nice and slicey. It actually slices through things really, really well. So yeah, the, the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Listen to that D10. This thing is so snappy. Strong detent on this guy right here. It's crazy how strong that detent is. But yeah, very fidgety, nice and fun, lots of different options, lots of different flavors, and it's nice and compact, so you can uh, use it like a little utility cutter. Next, the Civivi Pintail. Now this is a nice, a nicely priced knife. You get an S35VN with a super deep hollow grind. I'm talking about this thing is such a deep hollow grind. You, it'll, if they went any deeper, they would have blew through the blade. That's how uh, deep this hollow grind is. It is super thin and moving up the blade. So you're going to be able to sharpen this thing for a long time before it ever gets any thicker. Beautiful drop point blade. This one's in my card, but there is other options. I can get a full four finger grip and I can also do the trigger pull if I need to. Uh, the drop point blade is nice and versatile. 
You have a deep carry clip that is reversible, TA hardware all the way around, and it has multiple forms of deployment. So you have the thumb stud action and the flipper tab. So just a great little knife and it has internal stop pins, which is also nice. That helps from side to side play. So it's gonna be nice and stable in the pivot. But this is one I highly, highly recommend. It is really, really good. Um, it's actually very close and similar to something like the Civi Elementum, which actually they now have the Elementum Warncliffe. We should just talk about that since we're talking about compact knives. You can't have a compact knife list without the Elementum, especially the new Warncliffe version, because it's probably their best version yet as far as ones in this size. You guys know if you guys watch my videos that the large one is my favorite, but this is a full-size knife you know it's just a compact full-size knife multiple forms of deployment nice deep hollow ground blade this one's in nitro v and it's like 50 something dollars so fantastic price my car to scales deep carry clip not reversible but it does have ta hardware all the way around great detent great sharpening choil um and like i said these two are pretty similar as far as size goes, this one has a little bit better ergos uh, because the flipper tab kind of pushes you back on this one, but they're still both equally as good. These are some of my number one recommended knives when it comes to compact knives. And possibly my number one recommended compact knife right now is the Civi, Civivi Cubit. Um, I just, it's undeniable to me. I, I've, I carry it so much. This thing ends up in the pocket entirely way too much. So that just tells me right there how much I appreciate and like it. It's only two and a half ounces with these solid aluminum scales, 100% solid. So it feels nice, tough, and robust, yet it is so lightweight. And then the way they tuned their button lock action, it is very fidgety. Uh, beautiful spear pointish blade. This thing Man, so thin. The whole blade stock, everything is nice and thin. So this is a champion cutter. And you have a comfortable four-finger grip. Yeah, it's a little slick because it's aluminum. Um, you know, and you could mess with that if you wanted to, but I don't have no problems with it, man. It is so comfortable in my hand. I can bear down with it. I can cut straps. I can cut utility cuts. You know, you can do fine detailing work. It's just a fantastic knife, and it comes with a bottle opener. I don't know if that was intended, but it works. Deep carry clip that is reversible, by the way. So what a fantastic knife. Oh yeah, and the blade steel is 14C, 28N. 14C is one of my favorite budget steels or mid-grade steels. So yeah, phenomenal steel choice, especially for this type of geometry. When you have that thin a geometry, yeah. Just a really quick so you can see the size comparison between these three. They're all relatively the same size. So, you know, nice compact, yet not, not too small, not too big, just right. Let's get to the next one. Next one, the Hoag Ritter RSK Mini. This is a perfect size knife when it comes to a compact knife. And actually, it's very similar to the Mini Griptilian, the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Now, when I everybody always says that the RSK is a Griptilian killer. I disagree, I disagree. Not that I don't love the RSK, because I do, I really do. But when you're talking about this sheep's foot blade, to me, this blade shape 100% is better than this blade shape. Not that this is a bad blade shape. I love this blade shape. We already said it. I love this knife, but I love the sheep foot blade, especially if it had a hollow grind. I know it doesn't, it used to, but anyways, the point is though, is that full four finger grip for such a lightweight EDC knife, super tough lock. Mine is still, this thing is years old. I've had this thing for years and it is still as solid as can be. So I got to give it credit. That's why I love the Benchmade Griptilian. I've had a lot of Benchmades that were not solid. Even this one didn't even come solid until I put the original goat scales on there. By the way, yes, original goat scales. Use my discount code 15% off on all original goat scales. They are 100% USA made, so you can get them for your USA made knives and not have to worry about putting Chinese parts or any other parts on your USA made knife. 100% USA made. So awesome, awesome price. And putting these scales on this thing made it feel tougher without adding weight. It is so, so light. So awesome, awesome knife. But anyways, this one came with play. Once I put these scales on there, no play, rock solid. I was so happy because I was about to return it. Anyways, the Benchmade Mini Griptilian and the Benchmade 
RSK Mini. These are probably my all-time favorite compact knives. My most recommended would be the Cubit just because, you know, for the price range. But, you know, if you got USA knife money, you know, which these aren't that expensive, by the way. I'm not saying these are expensive. They're a little over $100, you know. If you throw the scales on there, it's going to be much more. But, you know, I think these are like 140 These are like 120 something like that, right around there. The Ganzo... FH924. So this is a three and a half finger knife, but I can actually bear down on this, even though, because I can get a full four finger if I really want to. If I spread out, yeah, it's only three, but I can choke up and get four fingers. Great access to the lock bar, super smooth on its ceramic caged bearings, very fidgety. Nice solid lockup, deep carry wire clip that is reversible, steel liner lock, D2 steel. This is a solid little knife. And these things are like, I don't know, 25 bucks, something like that. So you really can't go wrong with, with, you know, this type of price for what you're getting, especially when you see the little details, because, you know, there's knives that are priced around the same price as this, but you can see the little details aren't there. You know, they, they cut corners and stuff. And these seem like they, you know, they don't cut any corners. It's a solid work knife or solid beater knife. That's what I'm going to call it, a beater knife. A knife that actually is made of built of good build quality, good fit and finish, good tolerance, is good everything, but is very, very affordable. So if you lose it, break it, or whatever, you're not going to be crying. Let's do one more. The Titanium Tribeca, the Giant Mouse Tribeca. I absolutely love this thing. Listen to this. This thing is so addicting. Oh my goodness, is this thing addicting. Such good action. I can get a gr good, comfortable four-finger grip. I can choke back and get a tight four-finger grip. Magna cut drop point blade. Beautiful satin finish. And it has a nice crowned spine on the, ma on the magna cut blade. Um, the jimping is actually useful. There's not that much of it, but it does work. Um, like I said, the action is just ridiculous. Even with that little minimal flipper tab, my goodness, they did such a good job on this one. People keep asking me about the Micarta one, if this is just as good as the Micarta one. I don't know. I have not tried the Micarta one. I would imagine there's a lot of similarities, you know, because it's just the scales would be the big difference. But I don't know. Maybe the titanium scales is what brings this thing over the top. Um, I need to try the Micarta one to really let you guys know. Um, I just don't want to, you know, tell you yes, and then it's not as good. But uh, I can say for sure the titanium one is absolutely amazing. Deep carry clip that is reversible. Brass back spacer with nice jimping. Yeah. Anyways, so there you guys go. There are some great compact knives. Work hard. Stay tough. Until next time, peace.